First of all, on the financial side, the uh, Moroccan uh, financial system wasn't really affected by the crisis as all the bank uh, weren't, didn't have any exposure on the, on the subprime market. Morocco had the 6% growth during this difficult time, while most of the country's competitors in the area had a negative uh, progression. Um, that's due to different, um, first of all, to different reforms and measures were taken by the uh, government, by the Ministry of Tourism. We, ha we, we had a, a list of measures which uh, have been uh, put in place, which did allow us actually to keep a robust sector and, and, and keep the business going on. So the government had to respond to intervene to provide some liquidity then to some of the hoteliers to make sure that the market evened out. As a form of loan, yes. Uh, that's, that's something which is happening today. And, and that's it's done actually to raise the quality of the uh, uh, Moroccan products, the quality of the hotels and the quality of the rooms and the services. So you had the Gulf investors make big announcements about going into Tangier and other markets. They've retrenched. How does this in impact your investment portfolio and plan for the next 10 years? They did retrench some of them, and not only Gulf investors, but others as well. Uh, that's due to the economic environment, but still a lot of them there, and, and, and I can still see uh, more and more investors coming in, and especially in 2010 with the economy, you know, the feel of the common economy coming back. Um, uh, everybody knows that's you know it's taking off. It's starting taking off. It's going to be slow, but you know the state is reaching the three and a half growth for this year, 2010, and that is reflected in the tourism industry. We see more people come in. We see even more tourists come in as well, as we have a 16 percent progression on this first quarter, uh, which is uh, over last year. Over last year, mm. which is exceeding the 10 percent we are projecting for this year. Um, so we're quite positive. We see more investment uh, come in. Uh, you have nearly 10 million visitors now and all that growth over the last 10 years. Projections to 20 million by 2020. What's the next 10 year plan then? The mentality have changed. The mentalities have changed after the crisis. Not only people's pockets, but also their mentalities. Yeah. We need to readapt our views, our strategy. So it's not just about it. the numbers, then. So it's just—it's exactly. It's not only a number. I think uh, we need to go uh, um, uh, among and above the, the, the just this fixed number uh, strategy. But we looking for quality. Uh, we looking for. Uh, not necessarily the number, but also the quality of the tourists, the quality of the visitors, um, by providing a much better environment and a much better touristic product. Well, it leads me to my next question. You have uh, Egypt with 14 million visitors, Turkey with 33 million visitors. Do you have those aspirations, or are you moving into five-star luxury resorts uh, with Four Seasons moving in, for example, into different markets. The tourism organization is 1.6 billion tourists in 2020. 45% uh, of them are in Europe. Uh, so we can afford having an ambitious vision in terms of increasing the tourists coming to the country. But actually, big destinations, we can compete with them and we will compete with them because we're creating a different product.